Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on collection log statistics. For those of you who may be new and don't know how this video is going to go, let me explain. I have programmed a little script to simulate killing a boss and receiving loot. Then I thought it would be interesting to consider this script as a player, who repeatedly kills the certain boss until he completes the collection log. And then, we'll let the script run 1 million times just like 1 million players would go out and complete that collection log. Finally, together we can take a look at all the data that I got out of these simulations. Once again I had my army of simulations take on a boss, requested by you guys. The leader of the army of Bendos, General Grador. So along with my simulated players, I completed the General Grador collection log 1 million times. Let's take a look at the numbers of an average log completion and compare a lucky to an unlucky player for both normal mode and hard mode general Grador. Remember that all of the kills done by these simulations are considered solo kills. So if you have been killing Grador with a party of other players, unfortunately these numbers will not exactly be representative. Alright, to kick things off, let's take a look at the average log completion. This summary shows you the averages for a normal mode general Grador completion where all kills from start to finish were done solo and in normal mode. This is basically what your log would look like if you got everything at or very close to the actual drop rate. As you can see at the bottom, the average kill count to complete the entire collection log in normal mode and obtain the strength of the orcs title is 2451. This includes having to get the godsword shards and the warpriest of bendos gear from general grador as well though. So later in this video we'll have a look at everything if you would get the shards and the war priest gear somewhere else. The average kill count for the pet drop is 2328. So if you're below that you can consider yourself lucky. If you're over 2328 you're a little unlucky. Then the average kill count to get the lore book, the glory of general Grador, is 56. This book drops along with the uniques that you can only get from general Grador. The normal bandos gear and the bandos hilt for instance. In other words, on average it takes 56 kills to get any of those uniques. Then on the left is all the loot that you can expect from 2451 General Grador, and all the drop rates I used are from the RuneScape wiki. You may have noticed multiple pieces of each of the War Priest gear. Technically, you can only have one of each, but it is possible to obtain multiple if you disassemble your pieces. The total loot for an average title completion is around 160 mil. Now let's see what changes if you kill General Grador solo in hard mode. To complete the title entirely on hard mode, you'll need 1233 kills on average. This is of course due to the pet being way more common in hard mode, at an average pet kill count of 807. The drop rate of all the other unique items of the collection log stay the same, so does the average book kill count. So you'll still average one unique drop around every 56 kills. The regular loot in hard mode is also a bit nicer than the regular loot in normal mode, so because of that the total loot value comes in at 101 million, even though only half the kills are needed compared to normal mode. Again, if you would find yourself in this scenario, then you're not lucky and not unlucky, you're average. Now, out of a million simulations, what was the fastest completed collection log in both normal and hard mode? Because there are so many items needed for the collection log, you would have to be pretty lucky to get all of these items so shortly one after another and finish the title at a low kill count. The strength of the orcs title at only 187 kill count, that's what it took for this simulation. To make it even crazier you can see that the book, the glory of general Grador, dropped at kill count of 41, so that means the first unique item dropped at a kill count of 41. And just for your information, the item that dropped with this book in, in this instance was the Bendos chestplate. Now of course the Godsword Shards and the Warpriest of Bendos gear could have dropped before 41. Then the pet dropped at a kill count of 76. And the final item to complete the log was the Godsword Shard 2, at of course kill count 187. The total loot value of all of these kills came to 15 mil. For hard mode there's not much of a difference in the drop rates, except for the pet which is a lot more common. But as you can see the fastest log completion in hard mode took only 147 kills with the pet dropping at a kill count of 52 and the glory of General Grador book, so the first actual unique of General Grador, dropped at a kill count of 51, together with a pair of Bendos gloves. 
Now the final item needed from General Grador to finish the log were the War Priest of Bendos Gauntlets, and the total loot value once again coming in at a 15 mil. Let's now take a look at the unluckiest simulation. How long can it technically take to get all of the collection log items and obtain the strength of the orcs title? The highest title kill count for normal mode comes in at 11,162. That's a pretty freaking big number if you ask me. It was also the decaying tooth or the pet item that was the final item drop at 11,162. The first unique together with the book coming in at a kill count of 23, nothing too special there. The total loot value comes in at 720 mil. Of course, if you know that the pet can take more than 11k kills to get, surely you'll try hard mode, right? Where the pet is way more common. However, the slowest log completion out of a million simulations still took 5,881 kills to obtain the strength of the orcs title. With the pet coming in at a kill count of 1,040, it was this time the Bendos helmet that was the final item drop, at of course almost 5.9k kills. I find it pretty hilarious to look at the collection log items and see only one Bendos helmet and so many of all, all the other items. I couldn't imagine going so dry on such a simple item. But don't be worried, being this unlucky only happens to one in a million of us. As many of you may know, there are items in the collection log of General Grador that can be obtained from other sources, like the Godsword shards that can also be dropped by the minions of General Grador, as well as other God Wars Dungeon 1 bosses and minions and also the War Priest of Bendos armor that can also be obtained by killing monsters in the Bendos encampment in God Wars Dungeon 1. So what does it mean for our logs if you can just neglect all these items and only have to obtain the actual Bendos armor, the Bendos hilt and the pet? As you can see in the top left I put a red square around all of the items that can be obtained elsewhere. However the amount of times that these items are dropped on average didn't change at all and the average title kill count and pet kill count didn't change much either. That's because the drop rates of the shards and the War Priest of Bendos armor are already lower than all the other items, so you would get them anyway. The same goes for the average log completion in hard mode. The average title kill count dropped a little bit from 1233 to 1184, but that might just be coincidence. The average pet kill count is still the same, and the total loot value also only dropped by like 4 mil, so nothing too special there. However, here comes the interesting part. If you take a look at the fastest log completion, in normal mode, neglecting the Godsword shards and War Priest of Bendos armor, the lowest title kill count actually dropped from 187 to only 72 kills. So that's less than half the kill count. As you can see with the collection log items, not all the War Priest of Bendos items were obtained, because you can still go farm them with the monsters in the Bendos encampment. The book dropped at a kill count of 11, so that means all the uniques that were needed for this title were obtained between kill count 11 and 72, so that marges it down to only 61 kills actually needed for the log. Pretty crazy. The first unique item to drop were the Bendos Tessets at kill count 11, and of course the final item drop this time was the Bendos Helmet again, at a kill count of 72. The pet came in at a kill count of 37, which is very lucky, in normal mode of course. In hard mode we can see the same thing happen if we neglect the Godsword shards and the War Priest of Bendos armor. The lowest title kill count dropped from 147 to only 68 kills, so again less than half the kills. The pet dropped at only kill count 14, and the first unique item, which was the Bendos chestplate in this case, dropped together with the book at a kill count of 21. So again that means that all the unique items dropped between kill count 21 and 68, which makes 7 different items in only 47 kill count, which is crazy. The final item this time were the Bendos boots. Now for the slowest low completion. Neglecting the Godsword shards and the War Priest of Bendos armor, it didn't make much of a difference, because again it was the pet that took the longest to get, at a kill count of 11,193 this time. That's even 31 kills more than the time that we didn't neglect half of these items. But then this simulation got way luckier on all its uniques, because the total loot value jumped up from 720 mil to 789 mil. So that's good on him, I guess. And then for the slowest log completion in hard mode, it also did not matter that we neglected the Godsword shards and the War Priest of Bendos armor, because the highest kill count to obtain the strength of the orcs title jumped up from 5881 to 6402. This time the Bendos chestplate being the final item needed. The pet kill count was considerably lucky, this time at 147, but as you can see, the book dropped at only 187 kill count. So that's when the first unique came in. Already not a great start, if you ask me. 
The total loot value stayed about the same at 483 million. Finally let's get to the best part in my opinion. Let's take a look at the pet drop distribution graphs for the general Grador pet. In this graph you can see the pet drop distribution for 1 million normal mode simulations. The higher the graph goes the more players actually get the pet at that point. I like how you can see the amount of pets dropped peaking every 1000 kills. This is because of the threshold that the decaying tooth has. According to the graph your chances to get the pet are the highest around either kill count 1000 or 2000 since those two peaks are the highest. Lastly here's a graph on the pet distribution for 1 million hard mode simulations. The first bar on the graph is prominently higher than the rest which shows how high your chances are to get this pet early on in hard mode. However the first bar doesn't necessarily mean on kill count 1 but at least within the first 20 or so, so very close to it. You can also clearly see how rare it is to go super dry here because the graph comes down very quickly after every threshold. However, there's always that 1 in a million chance to get it after 5k kills, even in hard mode. That was it for this video, I hope you found it as interesting to look at those numbers as I did. Hopefully I stimulated some of you to complete the collection log yourself, or maybe you already completed it and had fun comparing yourself to the average and best and worst cases. Please let me know in the comments below, I would love to read what you guys have to say. If you enjoyed this kind of video and want to see more like this be sure to like the video and subscribe because I'm definitely putting my army of simulations back to work as soon as possible. If there's anything else you always wanted to get statistics on and see me cover in a video like this one, also please leave it down in the comments, I'm always open for IDs. Thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you next time.